This is Steve N4LQ and what you're seeing here on the big screen is um, my IC7300 being displayed with uh, N1MN's Spectrum uh, feature and there's no external SDR needed. This is all done through software. This is a uh, LG 29 inch I think they call it a super wide monitor and um, I think it looks quite decent uh, much better than the ICOM software this all is fed out of the USB port on the IC7300 and uh, the the waterfall looks pretty good it's got enough detail on it and if I can get my camera set up here, we will uh, try to uh, try to get some video. Show you how this is set up. So here we are. Uh, we're looking at 20 meters, and um, this uh, this is coming out of my uh, IC7300 here. Well, first, since we've got the 7300 on display, let's uh, go through the setup on it to make it work with N1MN's Spectrum software. Go to the uh, menu and uh, set and connectors. And here uh, you'll see the USB serial function is at the C1V. Uh, go to the C1V menu and be sure that the baud rate, the USB baud rate, is at <clears throat> 115,200. And um, I've got the USB port unlinked from the remote and um, let's see what else oh the CIV the CIV address I think I call it a C1 <laughs> CIV address it's at 90, <clears throat> 94H and that's what uh, the software wants to see so you can set that yourself I've got the uh, baud rate set for auto the transceive is turned off and that should do it so we're connected with the USB port um, it shows up as port 3 on my USB list now let's take a look at the N1NM software We're looking at 20 meters here, and um, the the spectrum width that you see here is set by the radio. So I'm using I'm using fixed mode, and my fixed mode is showing from uh, about 1400, uh, 14 megahertz up to 14059 over here. So we're about 60 kilohertz wide, and of course you can set that for whatever you want. But again, that's done on the radio. Of course, we can go to the center mode, um, like so, and uh, here we go. Uh, we're showing a, uh, a span of 40 kilohertz. And the uh, the uh, center part, the center is at zero, and then you can see minus 20 and plus 20 above and below it. And then, of course, you can uh, change your span to be wider. There's 80. And um, I can go on up to uh, show the entire 20-meter band like this. Um, and 
Let's go back to uh, to the fixed mode and show you how it works. So uh, <clears throat> to set this up, um, here's your main screen for N1 NM, and uh, go to the config and go up to configure ports and that'll bring this up so there's our COM port 3 IC7300 choose the radio and then go to set notice that I've got my speed here at 115,200 parity in data bits 8, stop bits 1 DTR and RTS currently, I've got them both off. ICOM code, there's your 94 hex code, radio number one, and the rest of it is uh, default. So um, that's pretty much what you need there to get it going. <clears throat> and um, then what I did was uh, I brought up the uh, Telnet feature and I'm looking, I'm Telnetting into the reverse beacon. And um, there's any number of, of uh, different uh, things you can link into, but I chose the reverse beacon. I'm used to it. So you can see here that... Um, a lot of this is I've got filtered out, but it's showing DX on the, the band that the software is looking at. So it's looking at uh, 20 meters. I notice it's also showing uh, 30 meters. But anyway, you can see the different CQs passing by there. So whenever it sees a CQ, a new, a new CQ, it puts it up here at the top the top section. So like there's K4PKV, he called CQ. And I've got a timer set on it so that it resets or refreshes every minute. Um, you can set that for any amount of time that you want. So let's say I want to tune to this station right here, um, K4PKV. I can look down below here, I don't see him. But uh, there is, uh, there's a station right here. Apparently the reverse beacon isn't picking him up or it's too weak. But another thing we can do is... Uh, change the threshold um, let's see here oh yeah use your mouse the mouse wheel changes the threshold so this this line across here is uh, your threshold line so that means that it takes a signal stronger than where that line is before it will display it up here. So there's that guy that was calling CQ, the CF3SC, as you can see. So your mouse wheel runs this up and down, and um, again, that's your threshold. This thing right over here is your, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on the camera, uh, that's your. Uh, intensity for the uh, waterfall and if you turn that up the waterfall becomes a little bit more uh, has more gain and so you don't want to set that up too high and of course just like on your radio you can go to the uh, reference level on your menu in the 7300 and vary that and it will it'll change let me show you how that works uh, if I turn this down, then now you can see the waterfall 
starting to wash out. The signals are standing out a little more and the noise is decreasing. So pretty much a, a duplicate of what you see on the screen. Here's another signal right here. Pile up. Now this IU, uh, I1UL, click on that call sign, and uh, there it is. He's a sick ear. And of course my timer wiped him out, but he'll show up again here in a, in a second. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do. Now one thing you can't do is tune with your mouse, which I was a little surprised, but I guess this is an early version of the software, and I think I'd, I would like to kind of be able to do that. Of course point and click is pretty handy, you know, just click. It puts the cursor up here where you were. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Then this little dude right here, you can click on it and you'll get a bunch of different options. Show the spots here, non-dupes and dupes, only spots you can hear. Some of these things might require that you have your own reverse beacon set up. Um, but this is a ledger right here. This blue is average uh, instant and your re receive frequency is in green, which is this cursor here. And you click that and it goes away. Uh, you can change the size of the waterfall, like so. And we'll make it bigger, make your spectrum bigger. So here we have a signal right here. It's probably the uh, answer I you again. There's K5LN right here. That's the X XE1RK. So, uh, that's a basic overview of it. I'm by no means an expert. I just downloaded this today. But it's really kind of nice to be able to to get the 7300 on a big screen with no external hardware. Thanks a lot, 73.